Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Oh guys, it's so hot. You can probably see that my hair is all wet at the back. It's not even summer yet, but already the temperature is going up to 32, 34 degrees here in Queensland. The humidity is so high. Every time I go out, I get so sticky and so wet and I don't like it. Like I, I'm not a really sweaty person, but the first thing in my body that starts to sweat is the back of my head and the back of my neck. And I just hate it. I can't wear my hair down, even though I went now to short bob, which now became a little bit long. Um, but yeah, when it's too hot, I can't wear my, um, you know, hair down because every time it's, um, you know, laying down on my neck, I get so wet at the back and my hair starts to curl because in by nature in real if i don't straighten my hair it's wavy so it starts to go you know crazy wavy and it looks so funny anyway guys in this video i want to share with you five dresses that i bought from tk max they all um sort of like a in vintage style um four of them are presented by one company or by one brand and the fifth one which is here at the back is presented by a different company i haven't seen those companies anywhere else i don't know if they have a particular shop here in queensland for you guys to go and check and maybe just shop particularly for their items only i'm not sure if they have a physical shop but i'm pretty sure they probably have something online but what I like about Tiki Max is that when you go to Tiki Max, you can find so many different brands. Like, um, because Tiki Max collecting, you know, different type of brands from different parts of the world, you can find so many different designs, so many different fabric styles, so many different uh, countries of production. Like I have a lot of clothes, clothes made in India, in Vietnam, in United States, in England, um, in China, you know, and I love them all because they all look so unique. Anyway, because I didn't wear these dresses yet outside, I have all the tags still on, which will give you some sort of indication to see what type of prices you can meet or find in Tiki Max, you know, and how much roughly a particular or a similar dress would cost if you would want to go and find something similar. Okay, so I will show you each dress up close now. I'll share with you the price and then I will try it on and show you how it sits on me as well. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first dress is this one here, it's made by the company called Montu, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm going to bring it closer to you guys, there you go, this one is size medium, it's made in Vietnam, but it says Los Angeles, I think the base of the company is in Los Angeles but I'm not 100% sure so this one in size medium because uh, what I've noticed is I have dresses from this company and I have some tops that I bought previously which I'm going to share with you in my next videos I found that the size small which I am usually here in Australian sizes is very small on me from this particular brand this is why medium would be similar to something between size 8 and size 10 to the normal standard you know sizes here in Australia so if you are like me yeah medium would be the perfect fit this one I paid for it $29.95 and this is one of the sort of like average or most common prices that you will find there for the dresses like about $30 then the next price that I would see most frequently is about $34.95 so it's like $35 you know and then you will find some dresses in Tiki Max go like $49.95 you know which is $50 roughly okay so this one has a beautiful print i really like this sort of green color this is sort of like a tilt color it has a cooler here it has buttons has a fabric belt which ties at the front okay this one has pockets and the length is a midi length so it's just covering um like down below my knees it has an opening in the middle there you go and at the back it has elastic okay has a pleat in here the length of the sleeve is three quarters it's not a full length okay 
and uh, yeah, I really really like it. I think this style of the dress would represent probably fashion back in 1980s, but if I'm wrong, you can correct me and um, write it down in the comments below. Um, which year do you think this dress would represent back then in the fashion? Would it be 1980 or maybe 90s? I don't know, but I think it's very similar to what my mom used to wear when I was a kid. So yeah, so let's put it on and I'll show you how it sits on me. Okay guys, so this is the first dress. This is how it looks like. I'm wearing tights because I still have that funny suntan on my legs that you can see a little bit but at least with the ties it's not that bad um, so this is the length of the dress the color is more juicier and more brighter I'll try to show it to you now away from this light I'll just go to different parts of the room to show you how it looks like on the top um, it's very flattering very beautiful dress in my opinion it will look nice with closed shoes or sandals, crossbody or cross shoulder um, bag. I have one vintage bag that I have here that I bought uh, a few months ago. Um, I think it will look really nice with it. I'm just going to show you guys. There you go. So cute. Okay guys, so these are the true colors of the dress. As you can see, it's nice and juicy. You can open up the button here to make it, um, you know, loose. This is how it looks like. Perfect for summer. Okay guys, the next dress is in a similar color, it's green as well, but this one is more deep green. I would say like a, I don't know, like deep grass green, you know, it's beautiful. It has um, sort of like a polka dot, but it's not a dot, it's sort of like a small um, rectangles. It has beautiful details on the sleeves, which I really like. It has V-shaped uh, opening here, it has buttons, has a fabric belt to it. This one doesn't have any pockets, okay? It has elastic at the back to give you more defined shape to the waist. It has here pleating at the back. The length is similar to the previous dress, it's down below the knees, doesn't have any openings. This one is made by the same company. and but this one is made in china i'm not sure why some of the dresses by this company made in vietnam and some made in china i'm not sure anyway the price for this one was 29.95 as well i really really like this one i'm going to try it on and show you how it sits on me as well okay guys this is how it looks like It's so, so cute. I absolutely love it. There you go. I'll show you how it looks like at the back. I have for this one, I have two shoes that I can try on with. So this one I bought from um, River Soft or from the Rivers shop long long time ago like ages ago this one i bought from target as well ages ago but i think this sort of like vintage shoes could go really well with this dress so i'll show you how it looks like now okay guys so this is with the first shoes okay it has these um, beautiful details okay on both sides it's so cute like literally i have the shoes for probably like five or six years now <laughs> okay and this is how it looks like with it so again if i take this um bag 
it will look like I'm in, I don't know, 1980s. It's just so, so cute. I absolutely love it. It's a new style for me, but um, firstly, like back when I um, started buying these dresses in the beginning, I wanted to buy it mainly for photo shoots, you know, but then like I want to wear them now <laughs> every day if I have time, you know, an opportunity to go out. This so comfy, so elegant, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll show you now with the black. Okay guys, so these are the black shoes. I like that it has brown or beige bottom, you know, so it's not fully, fully black. This one I bought about three years ago, something like that from Target. Yeah, when I came to Queensland, I think it was here in Queensland already. So, this is how it looks with these shoes. So obviously, probably for this one, I would take a black bag just to balance it. But in my opinion, um, brown shoes, they look much nicer. So, yeah. Okay, guys, the next dress is one of my favorites. I really, really like this one. Just the design of it on the top is so elegant, in my opinion. Okay, so this one is made by the same company again. There you go. This one is made in Vietnam. Okay, size medium. Just look at the details on the top. I really, really like how it's made. I like the details here on the shoulders. It has a cooler buttons has this beautiful sort of like an area for the belt this one has pockets and it has the frame or the edges to the pockets at the back it has a elastic it's a medium length it has two openings for each leg and the length for it on me is just below the knees i like the cut on the sleeves i like the style so this dress was 29.95 as well by the same company size medium okay guys so this is the next dress um this is what i told you about this beautiful feet you know on the top i love this type of sleeves it just reminds me one of those old french or russian movies is just so so cute i absolutely love it i love how this company makes this very flattering uh, figure design it's just you know it just sits so well on your body you know and uh yeah i really really like it this one would probably will go really nice on some heels not too high heels um to um, bring that elegance more you know to the look but uh, yeah I like to keep the buttons closed all the way to the top you know I just like it that way at the back it looks like that um, yeah so I really really like this one it's so so beautiful of course you will find some you know um, jewelry that would fit you know and suit this uh, sort of like look I just have normal uh, golden earrings that I have from my grandmother for this look but if I go out I would probably pick something else you know proper shoes bag and uh, yeah actually this dress reminds me like that Chanel style you know that you can see on vintage um, TV advertisements of the perfume or bags and stuff like that um, it's just yeah reminds me of Chanel style okay guys the next one is one of my favorites as well just because of the fabric color and the print okay so this one is made by the same company there you go this one is made in Vietnam okay size small so size medium would probably sit more loose on me but that day they didn't have size medium they only had size small so i took 
a courage and um, tried it on you know and it was just so nice on me and I was like okay I'm taking size small because this is the only one left you know and I really really wanted this dress it's just so beautiful I love these details on the sleeves I love the opening here it's not too deep you know it's still nice has the buttons okay here at the front it has a belt at the back is most of them it has elastic to give that refined line to your waist this one has a pocket on both sides pockets has buttons going down all the way to the bottom then it has an opening there it's a medium length it's really really beautiful I love the color I love the print it's so girly so beautiful it's perfect for summer um so yeah so let's try it on and see how it looks like on me as you can see guys this um size fits on me really nicely so this was small as i mentioned before um i have funny tent on my arms <laughs> because i was wearing my um swim t-shirt so i have now half like that half like that <laughs> looks so funny i have to return um this one has pockets so beautiful um, you can see the fabric you know design and style the print is so beautiful i really really like it perfect for summer so this one is the length just below my knees so this is how it looks like with the bag it gives sort of a sort of like that vintage vibe to it i really like it This is how it is at the back. I think light color sandals would go really nice with this dress as well. I like the idea with pockets even though I'm not gonna be using it as pockets but it's just it's nice it gives that you know back in the days fashion style to it because pockets used to be really common in the dresses uh, back in 80s and I think maybe 70s too or 90s um, yeah so this is it okay guys my next dress is this one here it's a beautiful sort of like a creamy pink color this one is made by love keisha i'll just show it to you closer there you go this one size 10 and i paid for it if i can find the tag there we go 24.95 Sometimes you will find that they would put like original uh, price from the shop that it came from but not all of the dresses would have it so yeah like sometimes I saw some dresses would be presented let's say in 25 or 29 dollars in Tiki Marks but then you will find somewhere it left like a tag or a sticker you know from the previous shop where it came from and the price would be like about 70 or 60 bucks you know and you would compare like how much you can save you know so this dress is um, made of cotton and linen um, this one is longer than my previous dresses it has as well uh, buttons here this one doesn't have a belt but it has a pleat in here and pleating at the front it's not elastic just the pleating the buttons go all the way down they can be opened they're not just the style buttons they actually can be open you know and at the bottom i'll just show you it has sort of like a piece like that you know and inside it has inner fabric as well which is not a polyester this one is cotton which is really good here it says made in china uh, and it's cotton and 30% flex so 30% flex 70% cotton for the inner um, uh, material I really really like this one 
I think it's very girly, very nice. It's not transparent. And as you can see, the bottom part where the skirt goes, it has that inner fabric. So don't be worried that, you know, your underwear is going to be showing and things like that. So I like when they think about it when you buy dresses, because unfortunately here in Australia, a lot of dresses and skirts, when you buy, they're so transparent. When you go out, you know, to the sun, everyone can see your underwear, which is so crazy. But uh, yeah, so anyway, let's try this one on and this is the last dress and I'll show you how it looks like on me. Okay guys, this is the last dress. I'm holding a storage book <laughs> from TK Maxx as well, just to show you the idea. I bought this dress originally for a photo shoot because I wanted to do something, you know, with a headband and some books, you know, in my hands, a little bit of maybe, um, you know, dry flowers sticking out from the book from inside. Um, and uh, yeah, so this was the original uh, sort of like idea of buying dress like that. Um, but I want to wear it um, outside as well. I think it's a beautiful dress. The fabric is so soft. It's so nice. I really like it. I have this um, hairstyle that I made for you guys to show now. So I'm going to swap the camera now and I'll show you how it looks like on me. Um, so yeah, so this is the dress. Okay, you can put some belt here, you know, um, but I just leave it loose. I like it loose. I don't want to put any belt, but I think the belt would look nice here as well. This part needs to be ironed a little bit, but because I didn't wear this dress yet. So yeah, you just need to be ironed like that a little bit. Um, some uh, crossbody, you know, bag would look really nice. I have vintage bags at home as well. Um, I'll probably show it to you in my next video just to show you a collection of my bags. Um, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, so this is my hairstyle. So I literally put this hairband, I bought it from um, Big W, okay, and I put it, I left some hair. Uh, here that I put behind my ear and I left some hair at the front here and I put it just behind the bend and I left a few pieces outside here and uh, Yeah, it became sort of like a vintage style Have a look It gives a little bit of texture um, To the dress the thing needs to be ironed as well because it's new. <laughs> I haven't used it yet um, it costs five dollars if you want to buy similar ones from Big W, they have different prints and different colors still in stock. Um, they beautiful for summer, you know, style, summer wear, and uh, yeah, it can give you that sort of like a vintage style look. Okay guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope it wasn't boring for you. If you're a person who likes to watch shopping hauls, then yeah, this video probably was quite nice for you. I personally like to watch other people's shopping and then showing what they buy because in some way it, it can actually inspire me, you know, to buy something similar, you know. And also if you're looking for new shops, you know, and see what those shops sell, what the price ranges, then yeah, probably this video will be somehow useful for you. And Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them. And for now, I thank you for watching my video, subscribing to my channel, just supporting it. It's very important for me and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!